Hello, friends. Little acts of kindness often don't cost a thing to an adult, but they sure can make a child happy. Some people are capable of bringing joy to others despite their difficult professions. Jackson McKee is an eight-year-old boy living on Prince Edward Island, one of Canada's provinces. He's been spending a lot of time in hospital since the day he was born, being unable to play with his peers, all because he has hydrocephalus. Thus, his only friends were his parents and a little stuffed bear. The parents got the toy as a gift when they went for an ultrasound to find out the gender of their baby. Rick McKee, the boy's father, said that his son hasn't parted with the bear since he was born. It was his best friend. When he turned eight years old, Jackson needed to have his shunt replaced, which is used to remove the excess fluid from his brain. This relieves pressure on the brain. The parents brought their son to Halifax to see the pediatric neurosurgeon, Daniel McNeely. The boy knew him well, since this doctor had been treating him since he was an infant. Jackson brought the bear to take with him into surgery. When the doctors began to prepare the boy for anesthesia, he called for Dr. McNeely and handed him his bear. Jackson asked the doctor to perform surgery on his little friend too. The kind doctor knew the boy was about to undergo a serious procedure. So, of course, he agreed to help the bear. The shunt replacement surgery went well, and when it was over, the little bear caught the doctor's eye. He decided to please the boy and asked the nurses to set up a small operating table. The official diagnosis of armpit rupture was made. As if treating a real patient, Dr. McNeely put on an oxygen mask on the bear's face. After that, he used a few remaining surgical threads from Jackson's surgery and sewed up the teddy bear very professionally, all the while saying kind things to the toy. The biggest joy and reward for the doctor was the boy's smile when he woke up from anesthesia. The father said that Jackson was very happy to see his little teddy bear was recovering, as were Jackson's parents, since they only learned about it after the surgery. Jackson was thrilled that the doctor didn't just operate on him, but on his bear as well. The boy was glad that they would go through recovery together. Richard McKee was infinitely grateful to the doctor, who didn't just do his son's surgery, but also made him happy. Thanks to Dr. McNeely, the boy barely paid any attention to his discomfort after the surgery. He examined the toy thoroughly and saw that it was all sewn up. The boy's positive attitude was very important to his parents. The family was so touched by what their doctor did that in an interview with CTV News, Richard said that Dr. McNeely was one of the kindest people he has ever met. Dr. McNeely filmed the little surgery and posted it on Twitter explaining that he even had to operate on a bear. Daniel wrote, Patient asks if I can also fix teddy bear just before being put off to sleep? How could I say no? The doctor wanted to improve people's moods with his video, showing that a surgeon's life is full of surprises. But he got a slightly different reaction. People were delighted to see that the doctor can be so kind. It's also very important for pediatric patients who are especially intimidated by hospitals. Dr. McNeely got many comments. People are wishing him good fortune and health. Now people of different countries admire the doctor's kindness as well as his competence. The boy was really lucky to get Dr. McNeely as his doctor. Wherever you work, try to be kind to other people. It will make you feel good and add to your professional credibility. Well, that's all I have for you today. Share this amazing story with your friends and don't forget to comment and like our video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.